Toy companies, you're welcome. CNBC's Sarah Witten released an article this morning talking about how adults are buying toys for themselves and it's the biggest source of growth for the industry. Now, this may be something that a lot of us adult collectors that have been buying up toys and action figures have probably already known for a while, but it is now confirmed. In this article, they mentioned that according to data from the MPD group, the kidults, as they named them, I don't know if I like that so much, but it is what it is, uh, that these kidults are kids at heart are responsible for one-fourth of all toy sales annually. That's around $9 billion worth and are the biggest driver of growth throughout the industry. The article goes on to say that this cohort, which the MPD defines as 12 or older, has been steadily contributing to the industry for years, but the spending has accelerated uh, post-pandemic, and it's been leading to year-over-year gains despite you know tumultuous times in the toy industry. Now, this has been a big topic of debate amongst fellow toy collectors. Honestly, it was probably one of the main driving factors of why we had the great debate on this channel. But for some that were in the toy industry, you know, years ago, when maybe the adult collector didn't make up as much of the overall toy selling portfolio, that previous standard of operation is no longer true. So what does this mean? Does it mean that we are now the kings of the toy aisle? Uh, I, I, I guess so, but do we want to be? Do we want to be the ones that are, you know, dictating which toys are, are going out? This means that, you know, kids today are buying less toys and action figures. I have two young sons myself. While they still buy toys and action figures, they do not buy anywhere near the amount that uh, we used to buy as kids. And to be honest, that makes me a little bit sad. But as it stands, us kid adults make up for one fourth of all toy sales. Maybe that'll continue to grow. Grow. But I think it's important for us to understand our power as buyers, as toy buyers, and realize that, you know, we have the power of choice and we have the power to say uh, that something is overpriced. We don't want to pay for it. Or, hey, this is really awesome. We really like this. Keep doing stuff like this. And as Uncle Ben said, with great power comes great responsibility. Something has happened within nerd culture where we now feel entitled and we try to, you know, swing this power around and want it to, you know, bend to our needs. Uh, let's not do that. Let's not be mean about about this, but let's use our power constructively to make sure that the things that we're seeing on toy shelves that are at least, you know, being aimed and marketed to us adult toy collectors, we're actually getting uh, the types of things that we want to receive. But also, I think it's important, you know, whatever the toy industry is doing to keep, you know, trying to make toys that engage with kids as well. Because at the end of the day, while we are kids at heart or adults, as this article says, it's still important uh, for kids to play with toys and to learn and grow and develop cognitive skills that only toys can allow them to have. And that is something that I think we cannot lose. So what do you think of this article? What do you think about adults having this type of purchasing power within the toy industry? Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? What should we as toy collectors do with this power? Let me know down in the comment section below.